and thanksgiving continue to thank the lord continue. come on continue to bless the lord when you think of the goodness of the lord and all he has done for you come and give him praise and magnify him come on bless the lord i will 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 bless the lord Bless the Lord. I will 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 bless the Lord. He who cannot think, cannot thank. And he who cannot thank, cannot receive more. At the beginning of the 17th century, when you got born again in Europe, United Kingdom, France, all across Europe, the established church persecuted you because the previous revelation tends to fight the next revelation. Prior to that, the Catholic Church dominated Europe. The Catholic Church was so powerful. It wasn't just a nation or, you know, you know, Vatican is a, it's not just a city, it's a nation. They have their own embassy and everything. The Pope had to make you king for you to be king. But once the church began to evolve because of Martin Luther, the reformer, and also King uh, Henry VIII who protested, then the, the Protestant church came out. But the Protestant church itself began to persecute people who pursued God and wanted to worship God. Those people got into ships and moved to the United States just to be able to be in a place where they can worship God. And as soon as they got there, they planted, they, they planted their own vineyards and their own farm. And in 1621, they had a massive harvest. So they had the first Thanksgiving. They magnified God that he brought them out of wherever they were. And in the middle of their persecution, they've been blessed of the Lord. But when you look at it today, you notice some people no longer ascribe greatness to our God. They think it is their own capacity, their own ability. Humanists are taking over. But for those who know their God, they must be able to magnify him for who he is and what he's done for them. We live at a time when humanists have taken over systems and governments, particularly the Western Hemisphere. Many no longer think God has anything to do with the prosperity of the nation. They don't know. Except the Lord build the house. Psalm 127 from verse 1. Except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early and sit up late and eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Everything you have, the Lord gave you. And the reason why this year, the last Sunday is going to be called Super Sunday of Thanksgiving is because the more your thanks, the more your breakthrough. Is somebody ready? Because God is going to surprise you this year. If you had double blessing last year, it's going to be more than double blessing. Lift your hand in thanksgiving. 
Give God a glory. Give him praise. Magnify. 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 I had all shot. Bless the Lord because he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a mighty God. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a mighty God. Bless him from your hearts. Give him praise. Rejoice. Thank him. Come on. Think of his goodness. Think of his grace. Think of salvation. Think of protection. Think of your family, your children around you. Think of how he kept you. He brought you this far. Come on, give him glory. Thank you for 2024. This is, a, <laughs> this is another year <laughs> that the Lord kept me. <laughs> this is another year <laughs> that the Lord kept me. <laughs> he kept me from all evil. <laughs> This is another year that the Lord, He kept me. Put your hands together and bless Him because He kept you, because He saved you, because He delivered you, because He blessed you, because He healed you, because He saved you. Come and give Him glory. Give Him praise. Rejoice. We give God glory this morning. We bless the Lord because He's a good God. He's an awesome God. I said He's a good God. He's an awesome God. God of faithfulness. God of grace. God of power. Come on, magnify the Lord one more time. Magnify the Lord. You know, the prayer of Mary is called a Magnificat because this 17-year-old girl took the time to magnify God, to make great his name. And today you've got to have that attitude. Please, it's not your education that got you that job. Because if you stay in that remit, you have limited your future. But if you can magnify God, something bigger than your certificate is coming. Bigger than your qualification is coming. Bigger than what man can do is coming. Bigger than what people think of is coming. Doors are going to open. Favor is going to flow. Testimony will follow you. Come on, give God praise for it. I know the Bible has various kinds of praise and thanksgiving. One of them is a sacrifice. When you praise God in advance, when you magnify God like he's already done, because you know his credit is good. I mean, the people of this world, once your credit is good with them, they can give you goods of a million pounds and say pay in 30 days. Imagine, when you can give God a check of thanksgiving and say, God, I give you thanks, I know you will do it. He will surprise you. I said he will surprise you hallelujah and so today our message is on thanksgiving the title is a grateful heart somebody say i have a grateful heart say it again a grateful heart say louder a grateful heart and today that that blessing will rest on you welcome two or three people and just bless the lord for them well welcome about six ten people and then you may have a seat praise god i'm so glad jesus set me free I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Holy hallelujah. Oh, I'm so, so glad. Hey, 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 hey. Amen, 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 amen. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Psalm 95, verses 1 to 5. Somebody say, I'm grateful. Because the worst thing that can happen is for you to have an ungrateful heart. You should be grateful for everything. Grateful for your wife, grateful for your children. Some of you, even know, you don't even know. You always complain about your husband. You should discover the guy next door. And you come back and say, ah, my husband, you are a gift. You are an angel. 
Hey, I don't even know what to call you if it is Gabriel or Emmanuel. Which angel shall I call you? Some of you, you are living with a wife that is a diamond. And you've been treating her like a charcoal. If you discover the other woman with her finger every day in the face of her husband, you will be grateful. You will come back and say, ah, God gave me an angel, Angelina, Angelina. Come and give God praise this morning. Psalm 95 from verse 1. Oh, come. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God and the great king above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his. For he made it and his hands from the dry place. May God bless his word. You got to learn how to be grateful. You got to learn how to have a grateful heart. He chose you. You didn't choose him. He saved you with the washing of his blood. Not because you qualified. He blessed you. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. He walks with you. There are men who you expect to walk with you. One day you look behind and you can't find them. But he is there with you. He rescued you. He secured you eternally. Your name is written in the book of life. Oh, glory to God. He saved you from the penalty of sin. He is saving you from the power of sin. And one day he shall save you from the presence of sin. Somebody give him praise for this. He dwells in us. We are the only people inside whom their God dwells. You may go to Jerusalem and I've been there seven times. But there is no requirement in the Bible to do a pilgrimage. It is just some people say, I want to go on Christian Christian. There's no, 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 no. We are not required. Because our God does not live somewhere. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me. Our long life's narrow way. He lives. He lives salvation to repine you ask me how i know he lives not in jerusalem he lives within my soul he doesn't just live in prayer city i am his temple so when i leave here and go home i'm carrying the temple with me we serve a god who lives inside out somebody bless his name this morning come on you must le listen and listen you, how many want to really see the hand of the Lord this year? How many want to walk in super blessing, super favor, super protection, super power, super move of God in your life? Ah, this year if you can have a grateful heart, God himself will surprise you. Hararosha, you will see the hand of the Lord. You will see the blessing of the Lord. You will see the goodness of the Lord. And therefore you must have a grateful heart. Somebody say a grateful heart. Say it again, a grateful heart. Nothing is more painful than ungrateful people. People for whom you sacrifice. If you meet people who are real givers, and I'm speaking from experience, they don't give because they have abundance. They give because they have a heart to give. And sometimes you go extra mile. You bless people. I have been in the place where I paid school fees that was four times my children's school fee. And somebody thought you did it out of abundance. They didn't know it's because you had a heart to touch lives, to minister to lives. But they just took it for granted. If you have a grateful heart, oh, you will, uh, you will experience God. Let me give you about 20 benefits of being grateful and having a grateful heart. Firstly, a grateful heart glorifies God. 
does not ascribe the glory to man, does not ascribe it to the social system, neither does a grateful heart ascribe it to, oh, I live in the United Kingdom where everything is in abundance. Ah, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wakes but in vain. A nation can experience famine, can experience tough times, can experience empty shelves. A grateful heart also helps us to see God. When you have a heart of gratitude, you will see God. Gratitude makes you to see God, to experience him. Gratitude puts us squarely in the middle of God's will. When you are grateful, listen, you can pray and go to hell, but you can never praise God and miss it. You can pray and miss, but you can't praise and miss. If you magnify God, you can't miss it. Somebody praise the Lord. Gratitude also puts us in the will of God. Gratitude brings peace. When you are grateful to God, you find yourself saying, I may not have everything, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what he has done. Glory to God. Glory to God. A, gratitude, a heart of gratitude makes you to draw peace from God. A heart of gratitude also draws us to God. It makes us to draw close to him, to be where he is, to walk where he walked. When you have a heart of gratitude, you are drawn to God and God is drawn to you. He wants to even do more. The Bible will say, and when they began, and when they began to praise the beauty of his holiness, God moved. You will move God this year. Something will happen in your life this year that the doors they told you cannot open. You, you'll find strangers will travel from afar to come and open the door for you. If you believe, shout and receive it. Strange miracles will happen for you. And anyone who slammed a door in your face, they just gave you a chance to experience God in a mighty way, in a powerful way, in an awesome way, in the name of Jesus. Shout amen again. A heart of gratitude also brings contentment. When you are grateful, you see, if you see people who are never grateful, their eyes are also never in one place. They, are, they never show gratitude. They are not satisfied. Their eyes are also covetous. Always covetous on somebody else's blessing. But when you are grateful, you are grateful for your husband. You are grateful for your children. You are grateful for your house. Then God can give you more. Then God can bless you more. This day a blessing is coming on you. Gratitude again deepens your faith. A man who has a heart of gratitude, their faith is deepened. Their faith in God is increased because they see him as, in fact, they thank God for what everyone takes for granted. Every day of the year, 70 times in a minute, you took a deep breath. 70 times a minute. All the minutes in the day, all the days in the week, all the weeks in the month, all the month in the years, and for the years you have lived. If the oxygen was withdrawn for five minutes, you are a dead man, and you've never been grateful. You just took for granted. You didn't, even, you, you, you didn't know God made this to happen. Gratitude is so powerful. Gratitude leads to joy. A grateful heart is a joyful heart. Someone say joyful. Say it again, joyful. Gratitude gives you access to God's presence. When you are grateful, I don't know about you, I have an attitude. And my attitude is I don't like people who carry a sad face every day. I like people to be happy around me because your face is impacting me. So when people have a heart of gratitude, they release the presence of God. God comes into their midst. He dwells where they dwell. Psalm 100 verse 4 and 5. Enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. And his courts with what? With praise. Be thankful to him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all 
generations. Nobody can Nobody can legally enter a fenced property except the gates are opened. Or enter a house legally unless the doors are opened. Uh, if the door shuts on you, there's nothing you can do. You know, one, we, we have a gated house and once in a while, the gate has had a mind of its own. I, one day I told Pastor, if this gate does not open, somebody else will preach. Because the gate has not, until that gate open, we can't go. But when you begin to magnify God, gates open for you. And when you praise the Lord, courts of God open for you. Thanksgiving opens gates. Praises usher you into his court. And when you do this, you are in his presence. You get the audience of God. Your requests are answered. God is ready to bless you because you have magnified him. He said, if I be lifted up, what will he do? He'll draw men to himself. Some people just don't know how to be grateful. I am Amosha. And as you magnify God, doors are going to open for you. Thanksgiving pleases God. Somebody say pleasing God. First Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It, it pleases him. Many things may not please God, but when you thank him, it pleases him. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving is the will of God. And when you give thanks, you please him. Grumbling is not God's will. I know where my supporters club are now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Only two adults who left Egypt made it to Canaan land. Every other person was born in the journey. The Bible tells us why the majority died. The majority died because of grumbling. They grumbled. You would have thought that the same God who made Manna to fall from heaven. And heaven's fried chicken, HFC, was released to these people. You would think that they would be grateful. But once they didn't have anything, they behaved like spoiled children who did not care that the parents are even sacrificing to make things happen. If you have an ungrateful son, you bought him a train. I said, what is this? It's not even a... What's the name of the it's not a Nike. And on even Nike, there are levels. It's not a Jordan, whatever. Jordan also has levels again. They are targeting your money. It is at the same team. Like they will speak in Italian. It is at the same team. A grown ungrateful boy will do that to his mother. And if you are a teenager, you are in this service, you've got to be grateful for your mother. She stood with you, decided to be there for you. Sometimes she didn't even realize she didn't wear the things she wants to wear. So you can wear what you ought to wear. You should be grateful. I said you should be grateful. Somebody give God praise for parents. Thank God for parents. And then how much more the Lord who goes the extra mile to bless us. When, it's, when God sees a grateful heart. Ah yeah. Heavens open. May the heavens open on you. Thanksgiving magnifies God. The Magnificat, like I told you, was the prayer of Mary. Thanksgiving enables you to magnify or to glorify the Lord. Psalm 69 verse 30 says, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Stop counting your life by the things that have not been. Start being grateful for the ones you already have. Thank him. When you are giving thanks to God, you are magnifying him. You are glorifying him. David understood this and didn't want to magnify the Lord alone. Actually, he went out, Psalm 34 verse 3. He said, come and magnify the Lord with me. Come and join me to praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Come and join me. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. With me. Let us, let us exalt his name. How? Together, glory to God. I pray for you today. Anybody who will not magnify God, God is taking them out of your life. I said, God is taking them out of your life. May God surround you with people who will bless his name. In the name of Jesus, the song of praise that Mary, the earthly mother of Jesus sang, following the prophetic greeting by her cousin, 
when Elizabeth greeted Mary and the embryo in her leaped, Luke 1 46, hey, Mary began to say, my soul magnifies the Lord. She hasn't even seen the baby. She just felt the leap and she was magnifying God. But you will see the testimony. You will see the blessing. You will see the breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And therefore, I challenge everyone who's in the house, particularly men. Let all the men say amen now. Sometimes you are the slowest in praising God. What's your stress? And why did you, why are you slow? You thought it was your strength? In Bible times, it was the men that danced the more. Now the women have taken over. Let's change the thing around again. The man who was healed, the blind man by the beautiful gate, introduced his own style. He wasn't a zonto, he wasn't twist, he wasn't uh, shaku shaku. What are the dance are there? All kinds of crazy dance now. There's Jitterberg, Jitterberg from the 40s. There are all kinds of dance. This guy danced a new dance. The Bible says he was walking and leaping and praising God. You walk again and leap and praise God. So that people will know something has happened. Oh, they will know something has happened for you this year. People will see it with their eyes. They will testify with you. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. I prophesy on you today. There will be enough to magnify God for. There will be breakthroughs to magnify God for. There will be testimonies to magnify the Lord for. If you believe it, say, I receive it. Thanksgiving, a grateful heart brings balance to your spiritual life especially your prayer life because in our community in our community oh we are praying people krcc is a praying church morning glow is a praying place but we've got to learn how to balance it after you've prayed 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 you need to learn how to say god though i may not see it but you're working you never stop you never stop working so i'm grateful the answer is coming the favor is coming i'm healed already let the weak say, let the poor say, so don't keep saying, look, we don't even have anything in this house. God, after all the prayer, after all the fasting, who do you think you are? Do you know who you are talking to? The one who spoke the universe into existence. It took a miracle to put the stars in space. By a miracle, he hung the stars in space. Do you know the one of whom you speak? Those stars you see sparkling in the sky are bigger than this earth. Each one of them. Each of those sparkling stars are bigger than this earth. You want to travel there? It will take you five million light years to reach the nearest star. He's the one of whom you speak. And yet you are not grateful. He didn't make you a bird. For, for, Andre Crouch said, if I were a bird, if I were a bird, all I can do is chirp. If you were a cat, all you would do is meow. But he made, he made you a little lower than Elohim. A little lower than Elohim. And you're not grateful. Ah! Somebody ought to be grateful. Your life is more than animals. Animals have no, they have no sense. They just salivate. When they see food, you can kill them. But you, you can choose not to eat. And you can choose to eat. You can say no. He gave you the power that he has. God has the power of choice. You have the power of choice. God has the power of immortality. You can live forever through Christ. Oh, glory to God. Somebody bless the Lord this morning. Give God glory this morning. I Arabosha. You will not be an ungrateful person. You will not be an irresponsible person. You will magnify the Lord at all times. You will glorify his name. In the name of Jesus. Paul writing to a church in Colossae, Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. He said, dedicate yourself to prayer and thanksgiving. Dedicate yourself to prayer and thanksgiving. He said, continue, continue earnestly in prayer. Being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Colossae was a city in, in ancient Europe. I think it is Cyprus or Greece. And they had a demon they were worshiping called Cybele. It had a big belly. So it was called Cybele. And they worshiped this demon. But they, but Paul wrote them and said, 
Take your eye off Sibele and worship the almighty God. Give him thanks when you don't yet have the breakthrough. Thank him. When you haven't seen the testimony, thank him. Begin to rejoice. Oh, somebody today, your story is changing. Your testimony is manifesting. People will join you to praise the Lord. I said people will join you to praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. And even when you pray, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, Paul said, do not worry about anything. But through prayer and, and, and thanksgiving. Don't be worried about anything. But in everything, through prayer and the word prayer or supplication there is, 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 is actually when you petition God. There are all kinds of prayer. But the prayer of petition is when you argue a case. And say, God, this has to be done. After you argue, you thank him. That is already done. It's already done. <laughs> it's already provided. It's already provided. Everything he promised is already provided. It's already done. You see, God is not scratching his head on how to supply your need. 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen, but the things that are seen are temporal. The things that are not seen are what? Everything you will ever need is already in supply. I don't know who I'm talking to now. It's already there. So with thanksgiving, the doors are opening. The favor is coming. Your family will testify. I repeat again, if God said 12 Sundays of thanksgiving this year, what is coming is not double double, it's not triple triple, it's not quadruple, it's not quintuple, it's not sextuple, it's not hey, October or trouble. It is going to be much more than you have ever imagined. Doors! Asian doors will open. Psalm 24, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the king of glory come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord God mighty in battle. Who is the king of glory? The Lord God mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. Asian doors will open. The one that didn't open for your dad will open. The one that didn't open for your mom will open. Where your father could not even imagine you are entering. Where your mom could not reach, you are getting there. Shout amen with power. Thanksgiving ignites joy and creates an atmosphere for the supernatural. When you begin to magnify God, something happens to you. You begin to praise everybody. Say you. I am joy. Joy like a river. Joy that flows forever. And some of us have an attitude. You have a home to go to after service. You have a car, you park in the car park. And if you don't have a car, you have a bus there to pick you. If you don't want the small bus, we pull, we provided a luxury bus. What else do you want? And you're still not grateful. Some people walk 10 hours to get to church. Once they hear there is someone coming to their town. Jeez. Went to preach in Kumasi, Ghana. And I was asking the pastor, where do you come from? This guy said, Navrungo. I said, that's a big name. How far? He said, 10 hours. To so come and hear Matthew Shimlowo. Jesus, man. God, you better give anointing, no, because this guy must not be disappointed. Went to preach in Nairobi, Kenya, and I saw a family, and I said, where do you come from? They said, the borders of Kenya and Tanzania. We've been watching you on KCC TV. When we heard you were coming, we traveled for 10 hours all night. Jesus, double anointing, no. And you, you came from next door. Sometimes you even sat in your house, said, preach to me. I want to do... Um, Virtual. God deliver you from virtual. I think God should begin to give you virtual blessings so that it is still virtually somewhere. It's a new season in your life. The sound of thanksgiving will not cease in your house. If you believe it, say, I receive. Say it again, I receive. You will bless the Lord. Joy will be in your house. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. There will be joy and songs of thanksgiving. I will multiply my people. I will not diminish them. I will honor them. 
I will not despise them. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You shall not be small. In your thanksgiving, you shall increase. You shall be favored. You shall be blessed. Joy will be released. Say, I receive it. In Psalm 50, verse 14, 15, David said, Offer to God thanksgiving. Pay your vow to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. You shall glorify me. And you begin to thank God. Negative feelings of sadness. They begin to leave you. Moodiness begins to leave you. Depression begins to leave you. They begin to disappear. You don't bow your head anymore. The people will see you and say, why are you not? You used to be unhappy. You say, why should I be unhappy? I have everything. I'm so glad. I have all that Jesus gave me. I may have not yet seen some testimonies, but I know something is on the way. I speak into somebody's life today. The burden is lifting off your shoulder. Depression is leaving you. In the name of Jesus, you will not know suicide. You will not kill yourself. You will live long. Shout a powerful amen. Fact, research has even shown that the last person to kill themselves is a black woman. Black women will never kill themselves. So anybody else can kill themselves. Thank God for the women. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, as you thank the Lord, change is coming. Thanksgiving changes your tank level. Your tank will be tanked up to the fullest. Look at your life. Stop complaining. He only gave me two girls. I don't have a boy. You have children? I had an aunt who said, just to be pregnant once and die. Even if I never gave birth. You should be grateful. Oh, look at our house. It's too small. You have a house? You should be grateful. God never leaves you without too much to praise him for. Every day you look around you, you see milestones of the goodness of God milestones of the grace of God milestones of the favor of God and I pray for you today there will be more to thank him for there will be more to be grateful for somebody scream I'm grateful say it again I'm grateful gratefulness thanksgiving and gratefulness gives you supernatural strength to face challenges the difference between a thankful heart and an ungrateful person when they face battle is that one is sunken straight away by problem because their heart is never thankful. But the one who is grateful, he sees God even in the battle. He sees God in the battle. There's Goliath standing at the edge of the valley of Elah screaming, send me your champion. Send me your champion. Let him come and fight with me. They look at him and the hearts that were not thankful they hid and ran away. But David, he said, I remember. Oh, may God give you the spirit of remembrance. I remember when a lion came. I remember when a bear came. I remember this, I remember that. May God give you, give you remembrance. Track record of testimonies will follow you. Track record of praise will follow you. You will have reasons to magnify God. The challenge will not bury you. The challenge will give you a reason to glorify God. In the name of Jesus. Ah, when you find yourself in battle, some things require the kind of praise you've never given. Paul waited on the Lord on where to go and preach. In his dream, he saw a man dressed like a Macedonian. And God said, yeah, that's it. Go there. Macedonia of today was under Greece. So Paul goes to the Greek area of Macedonia. Ends up in Philippi. He's preaching. He sees a girl full of demons, cast out the demon. What did they do to Paul? They didn't say thank you very much for deliverance. They grabbed him, they threw him in jail along with his partner. Some people will have started, God, I went where you said I should go. I did what you said I should do. Now I'm in jail. Thank you. Thank you for embarrassing me, me a whole poor PhD, trilinguist, member of the Sanhedrin of Israel. The Senate of Israel, trained under Gamaliel, me in jail. No, Paul lifted his voice along with Silas and began to magnify God, not in a quiet one. 
The Bible says, and the prisoners heard them. Don't stay silent. If people can sing rubbish, you sing what blesses the Lord. People will sing rubbish around you and they want you to keep quiet. Ah, Nalosha, Kavarose, Katalaraba. Praise shall not leave your mouth. Glory shall not leave your mouth. I said, praise will not leave your mouth. Thanksgiving will not leave your mouth in the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. Don't be embarrassed. You are standing at the bus stop. Somebody is singing uh, Elton John. Mama don't love you. Your papa don't want you. You begin to praise the Lord. My father wants me. I praise the Lord. I love the Lord. Let him look at you and say, God, don't you know the song? I'm saying, no, 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 you. You are singing Elton John. Mama don't want you. Your papa don't love you. But I, my papa wants me. And I love my papa. I love the Lord. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice. Take joy, my king, in what you hear. Let it be a sweet, sweet. Another one, you're standing in the bus and saying, Ma, 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 we are crazy now. You know, that's what people are singing to now. Or the other one singing loves, Your love is a 187, taking me to heaven. And the guy's feeling, Oh, yeah, his love is 187. The guy is a thief and a liar. Yeah. Him stealing your body, man. Have a grateful heart. How many are grateful that they are alive? And Jesus is in your life. How many are grateful for what he has done? Praise the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. For all you've done, Lord, and all you're doing. For all you've done, Lord, and all you're doing. Things to come, yes, for blessings all the way. That was written by one of KICC people. You must learn to be grateful. Sit down. Paul could have mourned in the prison of regret, but he magnified the Lord. He maintained a positive attitude. He came out of the crisis victorious. People will make you to want to cry. Praise the Lord. People will spit in your face. Praise the Lord. People you blessed will treat you like, what have you done that nobody had done before? Bless the Lord. The Bible says the man who came to David, debtors, distressed, and there's one more D I can't remember now. Debtors, distressed. When their properties were carried away, they wanted to beat David. Wow. The anointed of God. But the Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. I think he remembered all his Psalms. He remembered. He remembered. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life. Psalm 27. He remembered the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When these guys came to eat my flesh. When people come to eat your flesh, magnify the Lord. Do you know it's a great weapon that we've been putting aside? Blessing and thanksgiving positions you for more blessing. How many are ready for more? I said, how many are ready for more? Jeremiah 30 verse 19 and 20. Then out of KICC shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of those who make merry. Then I will multiply them. They shall not diminish. I will also glorify them. They shall not be small. Their children, shall, their children also shall be as before. Their congregation shall be established before me. I will punish all who oppress them. Put your hands together and say, I'm grateful, Lord. Say it again, I'm grateful. Say it loud, I'm grateful. Look at me, look at me. The human eye is trained to see wrong. 
And the human heart loves to grumble. Retrain your own mind. Don't grumble. Thank the Lord. Because you may not see what he's doing. We had a battle over a land we owned. And these guys from whom we bought lied. And tried to, they thought they would take it over. They brought some soldiers. They didn't know that you brought soldiers. Me too. Soldier. My papa, soldier. My brother, so, my family, so, my generation. Fought over the place for 10 years. One them at high court, they went to appeal court over a lie. Let's go. Whatever it takes. All through this, 10 years, I was asking the Lord God, this is waste of money. It was at the 10th year that my eye was open to see that if this guy had not taken us to court, we were going to sell the place for peanuts because the place was not known. Suddenly, the area became woo. 100 times the value. 100 times. I was grateful they wasted my time. Because I was wondering, why after all this fasting, praying, sowing seed, in fact, my kind of seed for breakthrough in the matter. I, my prophet, I was buying him car. You know, I was buying car. Buying cars for my prophet. I need this breakthrough now. This is a car. God answered, but not my own time. My time was not the best. If he had done it when I wanted, I would have been regretting. It was when the thing was worth 100 times more that the battle was won. I said, God, it was good. I was afflicted. I see testimony coming. I see praise in your house. I see thanksgiving in your life. I see joy in your heart. Sound of thanksgiving in your house. It shall not cease. I said it shall not cease. And by reason of your thanksgiving, deliverance will come to your life. I'm not going to preach now. I'm just going to tell you the result that will follow you. As you begin to thank God, K-R-C-C, -C, yeah, I want to hear your amen. From today, deliverance will follow you. From all trouble, deliverance will follow you. As you begin to bless the Lord, you will be guaranteed life. Psalm 69, 32, 32. You'll be guaranteed life. You'll be guaranteed hope. In the name of Jesus, as you magnify the Lord, this year the presence of the Lord will go with you. If you fly, he will be there. If you are in the train, he'll be there. If you are in the car, he'll be there. Everywhere you go, he'll be there. You will enter his gates with thanksgiving. You will be in the presence of the Lord. As you magnify the Lord this year, you will go from dryness to flourish. I said you will flourish. You will flourish. You will flourish. John 6 verse 11 to 13. Jesus took simple bread and, and fish. Shoo! The thing flourished. You will flourish. Because he gave thanks, there was a flourishing. You will flourish. Your thanksgiving will bring multiplication. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. I like to hear your amen. Your thanksgiving will bring multiplication. Multiplied joy. Multiplied healing. Glorification of God. Celebration of God. Your blessings shall not be few. Your breakthrough shall not be small. Abundance on every side. Thanksgiving will open doors for you. 2 Corinthians 4.15 As you magnify God this year Doors, 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 doors They will open for you Shout and receive it Look at me, somebody thought they have shut the door in your face But right before their eyes a better door is opening I said a better door is opening I should give God thanks this year. It shall, it shall facilitate productiveness. You shall be productive. You shall increase. As you magnify God, this is the goodness and mercy shall follow you. Everywhere you go, you see the goodness of God. You see the mercy of God. You see the goodness of God. First Chronicles 16, 24. Everywhere you go this year, as you magnify God, goodness will follow you. Mercy will follow you. Goodness will follow you. Mercy will follow you. Goodness will follow you. Mercy will follow you. Shout amen with power. Shout amen with power. 
this is a new season in your life a new day in your life as you bless the lord this year and i want your amen to be three times on this your will the will of god the plan of god for your life this year shall be established say amen three times lift your hand and begin to give god the glory from your heart thank you for what he has done thank you for what yet to do give god a praise rejoice 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 like he's already done Rika, come on thank him thank him rejoice the lord is king <laughs> your lord and king adore mortals give thanks and sing and triumph evermore lift up your voice lift up your hands rejoice again i say rejoice i will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting from everlasting everlasting to everlasting everyone on your feet krcc the next five minutes we want to magnify the lord everlasting to i will praise him I will praise him. From everlasting to I will praise him. Hey. Are you ready to magnify the Lord? We're gonna give God praise for the next five minutes. I want you to really magnify God from your heart because victory will follow you. Issues that came to this building will not go home with you. I said they will not go home with you. Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Oh, that man we praise the Lord. For his goodness and for his wonderful. The children of men, the children of men. Hey! He has broken the gates of brass and tore the bars of iron in sun. He has broken the gates of brass and tore the bars of iron. Oh, that man! Somebody for man. that man will praise the Lord For his goodness and for his wonderful words To the children of men To the children of men For his goodness and for his wonderful words To the children of men To the children of men He has broken the gates of God And told the past of my own He has broken the gates Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me in my life. I'm very, very grateful. I say thank you to you. Come on! Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for healings, for miracles, open doors, my children. Family, my breakthroughs, my open doors, my testimonies. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. Oh Lord, you have done for me in my life. I am very, very grateful. 
Shall I render to you, O oh God? I will praise you, O oh God. I'll shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh God? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O oh God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will praise you, O oh God. I shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh God? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? You alone are worthy, Lord. To be praised and adored, you alone are worthy, Lord. To be praised and adored, you be faithful, Lord. To the end, is Lord. Magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. You will not praise Him in vain. You will not magnify the Lord in vain. Your eye will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your mouth will be filled with thanksgiving. Your eyes will see His goodness. Your hand will handle testimony. Glory will follow you. Favor will follow you. Turn around will follow you. Blessing will follow you. Healing will follow you. Glory will follow you. Everything you have sealed shall be sealed. What you open will be opened. The Lord will go with you. If anybody is waiting for your downfall, they will only hear your uprising. They will only hear of your lifting. They will only see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living, so shall it be. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Give Jesus a clap offering. Come on, give Jesus a blessed class offering. Give him a bigger clap offering. Never cease to thank him. Even when you don't see it, he's working. Have you ever sent a document and that time glass is rolling and telling you it's delivering? The time glass is rolling for you too. God is delivering. Very soon your hands will handle. Your eyes will see it. And you'll be able to see. My eyes have seen. My eyes. I am a fugo and Tiban Fugo. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Your eyes will see it, your hands will handle it, and your mouth will testify in the name of Jesus. 
when the battle is over you give God the glory I said you will give God the glory you will give God the glory hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord were you blessed this morning we must always learn to magnify our God always learn to give God the praise he deserves the praise he deserves the worship he deserves the honor in the name of Jesus glory to God I said glory to God this morning as we prepare our hearts to serve the Lord with our with our offerings with all that he has blessed us with I just wanted to mention briefly the power of the first fruit the scripture teaches us about the power and prosperity which follows when we obey God in the first fruit in the Bible the first offering we ever see is the first fruit we see Cain and Abel bringing and then the Bible says that Abel brought the first link the first fruit and uh, the first fruit determines the fruits that follow it determines the favor that follows the principle of the first fruit is the most unknown and untapped success secret in the Bible the principle of first fruit can be traced throughout the whole of the world and we're going to be teaching it one of the Sundays it teaches us to sacrifice the first part of our increase to honor God Proverbs 3 9 honor the Lord with all your substance and with the first fruit of your increase this year as the year opened I took my first fruit went to the person I regard as a prophet and sold into the life of the person it was a bad traffic day they had closed their bridge <laughs> I don't want to know about which bridge was closed or what bridge was not closed nothing is gonna stop me from connecting by 